Welcome back everyone to the fourth episode of my journey to learning Punjabi. We're here with our special guest, Epic, our dog. Um, he's gonna be here. I know he looks really tired, but he's gonna just relax here and we're gonna talk about him and yeah, have some conversation that pertains to him and pets in general. So I guess we'll get started with the recap, right? Satsrikal Ethan. Satsrikal. Kidda. Uh, uh, ach, wait. Uh, Acha nay? Oh, how did you say like nothing? I'm not like I'm not doing anything. All right. Um, so what I've noticed is you actually try to give a real answer when someone says, how are you? Well, yeah, that's what I'm trying. I'm trying to use like that phrase you said last time. But, what, but remember when people say, how are you? Many times it's just a social greeting. People are not really asking, how are you doing? Or, you know, what's going on? You know what I mean? So people will say, how are you? They'll say, yeah, great. How are you? No, but didn't you say, what's up? Yes. So you, when, so if I said, Kidda, you can say, Badia, you know? Unless um, you're, what I'm trying to say is you're not always expected to give a detailed answer when someone says, how are you? If that makes right, sense. Right, no, I was trying to say, uh, I forgot how, the phrase um, that's like, you know, like, what are you doing? No, nothing. Kidda. No, I'm saying like the nothing part of that. Kuch nahi. Oh, yeah, kuch nahi. Okay. Okay. Te aj ki karna? Aj... Um, uh, car mm-hmm. drive. Mm-hmm. Uh, si. Okay, me gaddi chalonda si. Oh, gaddi chalonda si. Chal is to walk or go. Chalonda, like you were driving. Gaddi is vehicle, basically. So. Um, like a train is a rail gaddi, like a rail vehicle. So, uh, just saying gaddi could be like meri gaddi. Could be my car or my truck. Okay. So, I'm going to drive the car. Yes. Well, before we get too much into the conversation, I just mm-hmm. want to finish the recap off. Mm-hmm. Um, so, last lesson we talked about the sea and some other greetings, and we just dove into like self expression mm-hmm. a little bit more. Mm-hmm. So, anyway. Um, mm-hmm. Anji, do you see ki kar de ho? Aj Ethan mein apne kutte de naala. E mera kutta hai. Mere kutte da naam epic hai. Te e bohat sona hai, bohat pyara hai. Te tu si dasso. Um, sona te pyara. Mm-hmm. Sona is uh, good looking. Te pyara is pyara is love. So pyara is lovely. So, what do you think? Anji. So, e kutta mm-hmm. e. Mm-hmm. E kutta da naam epic e. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Te epic mm-hmm. bohot sona te kush e. Kush, yeah, he's a happy dog. Kush te huh. piare. Piara. Piara. Yeah, that's oh, a conjugation yeah. anji, anji. because it's a, he's a male dog. So it'll be a, a conjugation of the male dog. Piara, te sona hai, te khush hai. He's a happy dog. Good. Okay. Epic da ra ki hai. Yellow hai. Haan, so ra color, like you, you know. So epic da rang pura hai. Pura is like brown. Pura. Technically Pura his hai. color is apricot color. Like, um, but um, brown, I don't know. There's no word for what Epic's color is. So pura can be light brown, dark brown, you know. It covers the whole gamut, everything. Mm. Epic the umar, um, takriban no saal hai. Takriban no saal hai. Takriban is approximately. Approximately? Yeah, takriban. Okay. I think it's... Takriban may be an Urdu word or Farsi, but it's one of those words that are, 
used in like the four languages that I know um, or I've been exposed to, which is Punjabi, Hindi, Urdu, um, oh, I guess three languages. Farsi, I'm not sure. So, Takriban, like Bilkul, you know, these words that we just throw in there. So, approximately is Takriban. Takriban. Mm-hmm. Um, epic the age, Kia? That's what I said. Epic the Umar, Takriban, no saal hai. Oh. <laughs> Wake up, Ethan. <laughs> I thought you were still talking about color. No, rang is Jeez. pura. And then I moved on to his age. Epic the umar takriba no saal hai. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hanji, the... What else? The matlab kia? Like, how do you say what else? What else? Um... Horki, like, oh, okay. um, what else, else, there's no literal translation. But like, you know, that's where, Horki is what more. Yeah, yeah. So, epic, uh, Horki, epic, uh, like what else can you tell me about epic? Epic bare kuch hor daso, kuch hor, like something else, like tell me something else about epic. Epic bare, bare is about. So, epic bare kuch, kuch hor daso. Um, epic, um, epic bahut samajdar hai. Samajdar hai. Samajdar hai. Mm-hmm. Do you know the meaning of samaj? It's not understand. Understand. Samajdar is like, he's just very um, smart dog. Like, he understands um, a lot of things. I think... Uh, epic um, epic media akha nal samajanda he understands my eyes like when i look at him so epic dark nal samaj tare yeah like he under- i look at him and he knows what i want him to do that's what i'm trying to say so he's that clever hanji yeah so, samaj dar mm-hmm. dar Dar is a conjugation. Oh, okay. so it's one word. Yeah, it's one word. So much dar. Okay. Like he understands uh, a lot. So. Epic. So much dar. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, epic. Swere mere naal sair karda hai. Epic. Swere mere naal sair karda hai. Can you repeat again? Epic Suvere Mere Nal Ser Kardai. Suvere is morning. Hanji. So Suvere is conjugation of morning. Suvere. Okay. Mere Nal is You're, uh, with you. me. Yeah. yeah. So Epic Suvere Mere Nal Ser Kardai. Kardai is he does something, right? Ser means a walk. Oh, right. That was from last lesson. Ser. Yeah. So, epic suere mere naal ser karda hai. Epic, um, epic nu khana ho chunga lagda hai. <laughs> Did you get that? Yes, he loves food. He loves to eat. Um, epic, um, epic da dost, um, ik, ik hor kutta hai. Oda naam Polo hai. <laughs> Epic's friend is Polo. Yeah, there's another dog that is Epic's friend. The um, Epic nu chicken bohat pasand hai. Anji. Epic butter pa chicken pasand hai? Nahin, nahin. Uh-huh. Epic nu chicken pasand hai. Or chicken di Punjabi hai murga. Okay? So, Epic nu murga, murge da meat. Or chicken meat like we say. Okay? Um... So, epic no chicken bot pasand hai. Epic, um, um, epic bot wadiya kutta hai. Anji. Yeah. Hor ki dost da epic? Mm, that's it. Epic de ikko hi dost hai, polo. Te, I don't want to talk about other pets. Like, I think with the dog, we talked a lot. How about, uh, like a pet cat? Let's say you. Hmm. 
Mm, I see. Hmm. Cat name. Eh. So cat is Billy. Oh, Billy. Billy is a female cat, and a tom cat would be Billa. Billy yeah. is female. Billa is male, which kind of goes in Punjabi, right? A is male, E is female, and A is plural. So Billy. Um, to see what were you trying to say that you don't want a cat? No, I said we don't have a cat. Huh. Uh, Sade kol bili nahi hai. Sade kol bili nahi hai. We don't have a cat. Sade kol mm-hmm. bili nahi hai. No, but what does that mean? Sade is us, like we. Um, not us, it's we. Kol is like with, with me, you know, to have with you. So sade kol bili nahi hai. We don't have a cat. Sade kol kutta hai. We have a dog. Sade kol kutta hai. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so why do you have to use sade kol instead of asi? Asi is us. Um, asi and sade. Um, is it like me and mera? Um, sort of. Uh, I've never thought about like translating it into English. So I'll need to think about it but for a second. To men, men. Um, like, you don't have to translate. I just need to know like the pattern. Right. Yeah, the pattern similar. Yeah. Asi. Asi aaj khusha. We're happy. Uh, we made a cake. Asi cake banaya. I think they're interchangeable with we. Asi and uh, sade. I think as you learn more, you can tell the difference. But to, as far as I know, it's almost the same as we. Like we did this. Um, you know, we, and, um, hmm? oh, sorry, continue. no, go ahead. I was wondering what does, how do you ask the meaning of a word? Because matlab. I want to, oh, so that's matlab. matlab. So mm-hmm. then how do you say, how do you say <laughs> a word? Like if I want to ask what an English word is in Punjabi. Um, enu, enu kime, or enu ki kende, or enu kida kende. Is to speak okay enu is this kidda is like how enu kidda kende hai enu kidda mm-hmm. kende hai like kende is speak how do you say this right but kidda is like kidda is like how you know like what's up or how oh, that's... <laughs> i know kidda is like a very flexible word oh, okay. uh, in the casual way we could say how are you kidda but if you want to know how to say something same thing How's it going? So you can say, Inu kidda kende? Inu kidda kende. What's kende? Kende speak. Speak. All oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. What do I do? I was going to say, I want to do a quick story or conversation about something. So you can talk um, anything you want to talk about. You can talk about epic, uh, but I would just want you to practice the conversational style like uh, how about you describe epic's day what does he do in a day typical day um so pella mm-hmm. pella mm-hmm. epic neend karo hai so he's sleeping hanji mm-hmm. duja epic um i think i would say pella epic neend puri karda hai Puri is complete. And Neend is female, so it's Puri. Oh, okay. So he, he completes his sleep. Na? Pella, Anji. epic Neend, Puri karda hai. He completes his sleep. Pella, epic Neend, Puri mm-hmm. karda hai. Mm-hmm. Duja, mm-hmm. epic. Um, chal karda hai. Mm-hmm. Or uh, she. She or se. Se. Mm-hmm. Se. Mm-hmm. Sanji, Duja, mm-hmm. Epic, Ser, Kardai. Mm-hmm. I think he's fallen asleep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, epic uh, song, yeah. Du, uh, Duja. Tija? Tija. Mm-hmm. Tija, mm-hmm. Epic, uh, Neen, Kardai. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Neen, he already slept. He's finished his Neen. Sanji, but... Uh, Epic Neend after, or 
epic nings kion or epic nings what are you trying to say when jado jado mhm uh, epic nings jado mhm um kuch nahi mhm karta so he's sleeping when he's not doing anything so but, mm-hmm. no 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 jado epic kuch nahi karda jado when epic doesn't do anything jado epic kuch nahi karda epic means um karda he goes to sleep epic fair uh, sonda hai sonda i would use sonda sonda is another word for sleep oh <laughs> yeah epic fair sonda hai epic fair sonda yeah. so to sleep so jana and neend is another word for sleep so you may have more than one word neend or even neender neend is more in hindi and neender is punjabi although i i used to always say neend but neender is i think the so the, sonja 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 yeah and neend yeah Sanji. oh no sonda not sonja sonda epic sonda hai epic sonda hai mm-hmm. theek hai fir epic uh play karda hai khedda hai khedda khedda oh khed khedda kh kh khedda khedda it's a k h sound so it's kh khed khed khedda yeah sort of yeah i know it's hard because these sounds do not exist in english like a, a tongue roll yes yeah, yeah. It's true. Uh-huh. Wait, say it again. Kheed da. Kheed da. Say it again. Kheed da. Kheed da. Kheed da. Kheed da. Mhm. Kheed da. You don't have to say kheed da. Kheed da. Kheed da. Yeah, that was great. Kheed da. Mhm. Kheed kheed da. Like a like it's called an aspirated sound. You know how you say like flying a kite? So you could say a kite or you could say a kite like that so it's a kheda 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 yeah and the d kheda. is the like the daddy kheda. it's not the kheda it kheda this is like a tongue twister no because it, i have to do a d and immediately that's yeah yes you're right back back. because we that's grew up with these sounds so they are they're kheda. sort of yeah they're hard. i didn't realize how hard it is for you Yeah, my time no muscle memory for that so kheed da is like literally a very exactly. punjabi word uh, or a hindi or urdu word so these okay, are the kheed da mhm okay it takes a little bit of practice but you can get mm-hmm. you can get it uh okay mm-hmm. so fir epic kheed da mhm mhm and finally mm-hmm. or, or no fir epic kana ka da hmm eh hmm like uh hmm? finally finally uh, you can say akhir which akhir is like in the end no. or finally kidda eh enu kidda kende kende akhir which akhir which is in the end akhir is end which is in so in the end akhir which and then whatever you want to say in the end epic what 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 do you want to say what does he do in the end kirvich epic sonda hmm. yeah he goes to sleep again bahut vadiya ethan bahut vadiya good attempt you know so um trying to think in punjabi and you're trying to your brain's trying to do many things at the same time you're thinking you're trying to get the accent right you're also trying no, to speak different words that your brain has like you said there's no muscle memory nothing kerda yeah or neuron memory we should say so um you're rewiring your brain nahi 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 main rewire nahi acha kar de fir ki kar de main new wiring acha new wiring acha neuroplasticity whatever right the brain can Me, learn new things mera brain hmm dimag 
Ja, oh, mera de mag hade mm. vi. Mera de mag. Mm. Eh, ik city. Eh. Ik kia? Oh, ik village. Ik pind. Ik pind. Acha, tera de mag ik pind hai. Hanji. <laughs> Acha, eh, bollo. Mera de mag. Mm. Er, nej, nej, nej. Hon, mera mm. de mag. Mm. Ik new city. Or ik new, vi- ik new din. Or ik nawa din. Pind. 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 Mm. Ik new pind. Mm. New is nama. Oh, ik nama pind. Karde. Yeah. You know, like it's becoming a new village? Nay, 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 nay. Ja. Yeah. Ik village. Aha. Uh-huh. De. Nav. Nama. Nava. Mm hmm. Ik village. Mm hmm. De nava ik village under construction. Tige. <laughs> So, so much, so much I? Um, thodi bohat, thodi thodi. Thodi thodi. So, matlab, ik, tere ik, 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 pind, ik, ik, pind, English hai. Mai hoi kyan laggi si, haa. So, ik pind English da hai, oh. English is Angrezi. Oh, Angrezi. Angrezi <laughs> or Angrezi, you know, both. Anji. Ah. Oh. Ik, ik, pind, huh? Angrezi. Okay. Te, ik nama, pind, pind, huh? Punjabi hai. Punjabi da hai. Da Punjabi would be da like a off Punjabi, right? Acha. Samajai? Uh, hon samajai. Ah, bohat badia. Thor- Keep on. Continue. Kuch or da so. Um, Pind bare. <laughs> Pind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 I don't know what it is. So, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Punjabi da pind hai. Ik Hindi da pind hai. Ik uh, Urdu da pind hai. Thoda ja. Nee. Nee. पर इथन पिंड वायरिंग विच की फर्क है फर्क फर्क इज डिफरेंस पिंड दिमाग पिंड ते वायरिंग विच की फर्क है लाइक आई एम सेइंग यू रीवायरिंग योर ब्रेन ओह हां जी हां जी हां डिफरेंस नहीं है हां मेटाफोर है सो फर्क नहीं है मेटाफोर है किदा की मेनु समझ नहीं आई लाइक किदा नहीं 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 पिंड हम्म और हां जी अह पिंड ते uh wiring hmm. difference nahi hai acha theek hai okay got it samajh aa gayi hun ha ji ha ji vadiya lagya pind um pind metaphor uh hmm. for wiring okay got it yeah samajh aa gayi ek metaphor hmm hmm for kid uh kidda ki kehnde hai metaphor nu ki kehnde hai no 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 hmm. for for um वास्ते किरके मीनिंग है नो नो मतलब नहीं मतलब इज मीनिंग एंड किरके हां किरके मतलब है किरके मतलब व्हाट डू इज इट्स नॉट किरके इज इट नो व्हाट्स द वर्ड फॉर इट फॉर लाइक यू नो द फ्रेज यू टॉट मी फॉर फॉर आस्किंग हाउ डू आई से अ वर्ड अ एनु किदा कहंदे है ओ कहंदे किरका मतलब है किरका कोई नथिंग डजंट मीन एनीथिंग लड्डू कुत्ता है लड्डू डॉग लड्डू सड्डा मतलब की है सड्डा इज आवर्स ओह ओह जी सो नो आई गॉट इट सी इट्स लड्डू लड्डू एंड इज अस और वी सो साडा रियली मीनस आवर साडा घर आवर हाउस साडा कुत्ता um you know like that for um we um uh, we're going asi chalne ha right so i think now i can answer that question so okay any other uh, conversation practice ethan to see anji dasso um menu ni pata to uh to had a subject mm-hmm. have eh? eh 
like do i have another subject anji visha subject is visha visha yeah anji um mere kol hor uh, visha aj nahi matlab nahi mainu lagda hai ki um ki er uh, after baad vich hmm baad vich mm-hmm. oh, okay fir um baad vich रात नी प सो so, बहुत पानी सी हवा सी पेंदा इज लाइक पेंदा पेंदा इज लाइक लाइक इफ इट्स स्नोइंग आई वुड से अज बर्फ पेंदी है इफ इट्स रेनिंग आई वुड से अज मी पेंदा है लाइक इट्स हैपनिंग समथिंग लाइक दैट आई डोंट नो हाउ टू ट्रांसलेट इट बट दैट्स हाउ आई वुड से इट्स रेनिंग और स्नोइंग अज मी पेंदा ओके पेंदा सी इट वॉज रेनिंग so uh so raat nu mi penda si so bahut thand si hawa si so bahut pani si so mainu nahi changa lagya <laughs> so no i koi sair nahi so oh koi sair nahi nahi aj nahi koi da matlab ki hai koi is like um nahi angrezi nahi koi da koi matlab sam like some walk no walk hanji yeah koi fir bahut kuch kuch nahi asi nahi kam karde um in in nu kidda lame ke in nu kidda kende kende देखागी <laughs> शायद मैं सैर ते जावांगी शायद शायद मे बी शायद इज मे बी शायद की शायद मैं सैर ते जावांगी ओ oh, आज या ओ हां जी हम्म फिर और की नहीं और मैं किताब पढूंगी किताब किताब uh, की किताब और नो नहीं अम which <laughs> kedi very good question oh, kedi kedi kitab so kitab is um female so uh, you can say kedi kitab okay because if it was male you would say keda right Kera so da. yeah so for example you're saying which dog keda kutta but kitab is female so it's like kedi kitab kedi kitab okay. um bahut vadiya sawal bahut vadiya sawal वधिया सवाल रिमेंबर सवाल इज क्वेश्चन बहुत वधिया सवाल सो अजकल मैं एक पंजाबी दे मशहूर राइटर ठीक है मशहूर मशहूर इज फेमस सो अजकल रिमेंबर अजकल नाउ डेज आई टुडे दैट्स ओके यू हैव हर्ड दिस वर्ड इन अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम so aaj is today kal is tomorrow right so aajkal means like nowadays like today tomorrow but it's a combined word aajkal main punjabi de mashhoor uh, lekhak mashhoor is famous lekhak is writer cuz lekh is like a write up okay lekhak is a writer punjabi de mashhoor lekhak najam hussain sayyad di kitab padhdiya नाम की है नजम हुसैन सैयद 
Najam Hussain Sayed. Yeah, a Lahore de writer ne. Um, tu or hanji tu ha tu hada kitab mm-hmm. Gurmukhi hai mm-hmm. or um Shamukhi hai. Wow, wow, Ethan. <laughs> बहुत बढ़िया सवाल है, so मेरी किताब शाम की है। शाम की, अच्छा। Now you need to tell our our viewers the difference. Anji. We talked about Gurmukhi last time, Gurmukhi. remember? Gurmukhi hmm. uh, script Punjab da India है, शाम की script um, Punjab da Pakistan है। Punjabi uh, Hanji, Punjabi da Pakistan. Oh, so Gurmukhi, um, yeah, so Gurmukhi is the Hindi as Shamukhi is the Urdu, like the script. It's written like in the what Persian style, Shamukhi. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't say Hindi at all. No. I would say Shamukhi is the Persian Arabic style. Yeah, well, I, I'm just making the connection with Gurmukhi mm-hmm. because it's similar to how it's similar to Hindi, how yeah, Hindi's written. Yeah, it looks, in my opinion, it looks better. It looks cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi is like a little bit more like uh, I don't know. It's just different. No, I think just because you don't know them, like Hindi. Oh yeah, I don't understand yeah. Hindi. I yeah. can't read Hindi. So but Hindi is very uh, spoken. Uh, Hindi is very similar even in writing. So once you learn Punjabi, it's very easy to learn Hindi. Once you learn right. Hindi, it's very easy to learn Punjabi. Yeah. Yeah. And then the Shamuki, it's like, it looks to the untrained eye, just like Arabic. Yeah. <laughs> it, to me, right? Because I can't read any of it. It looks the same, you know? Uh-huh. Like if I went to an Arabic store, they could, they could write Shamuki everywhere and I'd have no idea. I can read it, but even though I may not understand it. Oh, really? So it's literally like the same? <laughs> yeah. So, so in other words, if you learn the Persian Arabic script, you can uh, learn four. You literally can read four languages, which is Persian, which is Farsi, right? right. Urdu, uh, Shamukhi, Punjabi, and Arabic. So it's a four in one. So you invest one time, and you learn four languages. That's so I cool. can read Arabic, I can read Farsi, I can read Urdu, and of course I can read Punjabi in that script. So that. Why I invested my time in learning it um, because um, you know Punjabi was written in this script because the first writer of Punjabi is Baba Farid and from the 12th century Baba Farid. yes and he's a Sufi saint and you know he's very revered in uh, both uh, Muslim uh, Sikh Hindu all the uh, you know the culture because he talked about humanity above everything you know mm. So anyway, so his, um, so he's the first, he's credited as the first writer of Punjabi. And he was a saint. Oh, wow. How long ago was that? 12th century. So he wrote in this Shamukhi script, right? So then um, the Gurmukhi script really came with the Sikh gurus. And right, that yeah. was in the, I would say the 15th century, the second Sikh guru, Guru Angad. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. He assembled it from another uh, language that was um, popular at the time. It was called uh, Latin script. And that was a trader script. And they used to have this, uh, like a code script, so no one else could read it. So when the traders, they would talk, they would write that code language. And the Guru's family belonged to those trader uh, families. Like Guru Nanak's father was a businessman. So they used to write that Lunda script. So Guru Nanak knew it. And so when they created Gurmukhi, they used Lunda script and developed it further. So it's very interesting. It is really interesting. Yeah. You know, I created a YouTube video on a Punjabi language. You remember 10 things about Punjabi you don't know? Yes, all of you should watch that video. <laughs> we, we should put that in the link to today's podcast. Yeah. It only has 100 views, guys. We put so much effort into it. And I was so sad. Especially because the one right before it had like 40,000 views. I don't know that. I wasn't thinking of the views. But I was. Um, yeah. it was a lot of learning that I found out. So the Lunda, I asked my mom, I said, you know, um, do you know anything about Lunda script? And guess what your grandma said? She said when she was a kid in their village, and their village is just outside Ludhiana, which is my birth town in Punjab, the, her, her next door neighbors who were the traders, they used to write that. So, you know, for, as a little girl, her, her grandma would tell her, go, you know, we don't have any sugar, just run and get some sugar from the store. 
So she would go there and just tell them, you know, I need a pound of sugar or a kilo of sugar. And they would give it to her. And they would, and she said in their register, they would write it in that London script. Oh, interesting. And this is, we're talking 1950s. So this is not that far uh, back. So the uh, London... So is it that different, the Lunda script? It, I mean, it, it looks like, a, if you look at Gurmukhi Punjabi, it looks like a rudimentary version of it. And okay. in my video, if you'll watch it, <laughs> I have the original. Yes, I do compare it. Because okay. I was really fascinated by this. I love how languages change, how they develop. So, so Punjabi, I feel like, um, is such a gateway language, you know. You, can, you learn to speak it, it opens the door to South Asia, right? Because it's so similar to Hindi. Then if you learn the scripts, once you learn to speak it, you can have two scripts you can learn. If you learn the Persian Arabic script, now you're open, you open doors into Middle East, right? Mm. And if you learn Gurmukhi, the South Asia. So, and it's such an up and coming area for this century, in my opinion, you know, so, so yeah. With that piece of information, <laughs> I think that's a pretty good way to end the podcast. Okay, yeah. So, wow, 36 minutes. Hopefully all of you stayed till the end and enjoyed our discussion about the scripts and listening and to Epic our conversation. And Epic is awake. <laughs> yes, Epic is sure, awake for the ending, huh, Epic? And he understands Punjabi. Yes, Let he do. does. <laughs> no, he's trilingual. He understands Portuguese, Punjabi, and English. Yeah. He's a very intelligent dog. But anyway, <laughs> um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below and we will try to answer them. Uh, or no, not try. I mean, we're not a very big channel. We will answer your questions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, any suggestions, anything like that, let us know. And with that, watch out for podcast number five coming to you tomorrow. Rabraka. Fir Mildeyan. Satsriya. Satsriya.